Okay, I'm going to hustle through this. We are going to be studying uh, conic sections. I'm going to show you what conic sections look like. All right, here we go. Uh, parabola. Definition of a parabola. Okay, the set of points. Equidistant. From a point called the focus and a line called the directrix. So that's actually the definition of a parabola. Okay? Set of points equidistant from a point referred to as the focus and a line called the directrix. And I'll show you how they can actually generate that type of graph here in a second. I'm going to give you just a chance to, to write it down, and then and we'll move on. Got it? Bye. Directrix. Okay, if you don't got it, you can get it in a second. Let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? If you have a point... And if you have a line, I'm going to show you one spot that we could point to that is equidistant from both the line and the point, and it is right here. And that is called the vertex of the parabola. Now, I could continue to, continue to generate other points. For example, um, if I am, you tell me when my marker is the same distance away from this point as it is from the line. Who wants to do it for me? I need a volunteer. Who wants to do it? Nathan. Very good. So, Nathan, you, you see how far <coughs> this pen is from that point, right? It's it's too far away from the uh, from the line, right? So you tell me when these are the same distance. They're both there? Sam saying up? I would say maybe right about here. Would you say that this distance right here is approximately the same as this distance right here? No. Watch another one, okay? Let's say... Would you say that these are about the same? Um, yeah, somewhere right about here. That that distance is approximately the same as that distance. Okay, yeah, it, it's it's hard to generate, but you get the idea of what's happening. If you look at those points, if we were to draw them, you'd have the same thing on the other side. You can see that the shape that you're going to get is going to be this type of shape, which is going to be a parabola. That's the idea. That That's how they actually get generated. Okay. It's hard to do them by hand. We could generate circles by hand, ellipses, other things. This is a little bit hard to generate by hand. Okay, So we have different equations. This is the most important part of today. You have vertical and you have horizontal. Today we're going to say that everything begins at 0, 0. So our first type of equation is going to look like this. Y equals... So that makes it vertical, and ax squared. Now, you've seen that before. A is just some constant, makes it wide or narrow, or makes it upside down if it's negative. Well, the horizontal one would look like this. x equals a times y squared. So you can have two different types of uh, parabolas, horizontal and vertical. Well, the axis of symmetry, if it goes up, the axis of symmetry is the equation y equals 0. And if it goes to the side, it's x equals 0 is the axis of symmetry. <coughs> yep. Okay. The vertex in both these cases is 0, 0. The focus point is what we would call, in this case, 0P, 
And in the other one, it would be P0. Now, ask the question. What's P? P is a number that we generate from this equation. A is equal to 1 over 4P. So A is the constant in front of X squared or Y squared. We set that equal to 1 over 4P. We solve for P, and that will tell us uh, this, this portion. So the focus and the directrix are what are actually used in order to generate the picture of the graphs. We want to know equations for focus and directrix. Directrix is actually a line. And if you have a vertical parabola, you will have a horizontal line. It will be y equals negative p. And if it's horizontal parabola, it will be a vertical directrix. So x equals negative p. And trust me, after we go through a couple examples, this will uh, click a little bit better. But direction of opening, if it's vertical, then if A is positive, it goes up. And if A is negative, then it goes down. For horizontal, if A is positive, then it goes to the right. If A is negative, then it goes to the left. Then we have this really awkward word that comes up. It's called uh, the lattice rectum, okay? Yep, some students just had a lot of fun with that second hour. Um, so that was fun. Uh, length of lattice rectum is uh, the absolute value of 2p. And I'll show you what the lattice rectum is in a second, okay? Okay, any questions about that data? Uh, P is a number. We find it by setting A equal to 1 over 4P. Then we'll find it. P is the distance from the vertex to the focus. A is the constant in front of X squared. Let's do an example, see if you have the same question. Uh, let's change this uh, function. I used to teach it where we would change location all the time, but we're not going to. We're just going to keep the vertex right at 0, 0. So let's change this to Y equals 1 eighth x squared. So these are some old notes. Some people didn't like that second hour. They thought I should have made new ones. I'm sorry. Thought, thought it was nice I made notes at all. <laughs> anyway. Um, well, you know, I mean, if I walk in my master's class and exactly get my notes in. Get on a pencil. Write it down, buddy. All right. So anyway. If you don't, you need, yeah, I mean, you, if you're not ready, then you're not cut up for it. You should drop it. It'll be the same way in college. There, there's not remediation. If you need remediation, you need to go find it. Your teacher doesn't sit down and they oh, we need to backtrack. Let's relearn that. <laughs> it's not like, no. <laughs> Never had that happen. It, uh, you guys, I went to a great college, great education at St. Olaf. I think two or three times in my time at St. Olaf, I had a, a teacher walk into one of my math classes and say, like, you know what? We need some more practice with this, I think. Let's spend another day and let's work on uh, something. Otherwise, every day it was just straight lecture on board. And I was, I don't know if you guys get it or not. I hope you do. You, you should, you know, <laughs> I guess you figure that out at night when you do your homework, right? <laughs> so, okay, let's go. Um, We've got these pieces here. We've got, uh, we want to find these pieces. We want to find vertex. We want to find the axis of symmetry. We want to find the direction of opening. Uh, we would like to find the focus, the directrix. And we would also like to find the length of the lattice rectum. Okay, the first three are easy. The vertex, what do you think? Very good. Zero, zero. Vertex. Axis of symmetry. What do you think? Let's first decide the direction. Is this, uh, does this go up, down, left, or right? Up. Very good. It's a y equals, so it goes uh, up or down. And because it's positive, it goes up. Okay? Axis of symmetry, because it goes up, will be right through the vertex, like that, okay? And so our axis to symmetry, that equation will be x is equal to 0. 
Oh, I wrote that incorrectly, didn't I? I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I'm the idiot today. Okay, so now we just have to figure out these other three pieces, and it's really not that difficult. In order to figure out the focus, the directrix, directrix and the length of the lattice rectum, all I have to figure out is the P value. And so in order to figure out P, I use this formula. A equals 1 over 4P. What is A? 1 over 8 equals 1 over 4P. I will cross, multiply, and solve. Now, as you guys look at it, you can say, well, it's 2, duh. Well, sometimes you're going to have uh, numbers that aren't going to work out as nice as 1, 8. So if I cross, multiply, I get 4P is equal to 8. Divide by 4, P is equal to 2. So what that tells me, and here's how I think of P. I think of P as, a, as just a distance, okay? So the focus is located P units on the inside of the parabola. So that's my focus. Two units on the inside. Well, the directrix is two units on the outside. So that's my directrix. So you tell me, what's the location of the focus? Zero, two. And the focus is important because uh, when we get to an ellipse, ellipse has two focal points. And hyperbolas have two focal points. And the circle has a focal point. So we, we need to make sure that we understand this is going to come up again and again and again and again. The directrix is unique. It is unique to the parabola. The others won't have it. But what is the equation for the directrix? Y equal, I'm yes, y equals negative 2. It's an equation for a line. It's not a coordinate. It's an equation for a line. The, the directrix is a line. The length of the lattice rectum is the absolute value of twice the p-value, which is what? 4. The absolute value of 2 times 2 is 4. And what is that? The length of the lattice rectum is simply this. If I, it's a segment that goes through the focal point that spans the distance of the parabola. So watch. If I go two units this way, if I go two units this way, you can see that I have this segment. That is my lattice rectum. And the actual graph then goes from the vertex through the endpoint of the lattice rectum. Just like so. Well, my formula says that the length of the lattice rectum is the absolute value of 2p. And that's it. That's what we're learning today. So here's what I'm going to give you. Uh, we, uh, second hour, because we weren't watching Stand and Deliver, deliver we got through uh, this example. I changed it to uh, 2x equals y squared. Okay? So you could change that. And then I gave them an assignment, and it was, you, you don't have to do it, you guys, but if you can do it, you might want to start. But we're going to pick up with this stuff right on Monday morning, uh, so we'll continue to talk about it. But in case you do want to start, uh, the assignment I picked out for them was page 730. Holy cow, we're on page 730. Page 730, numbers 1 through 6 and 7 through 17 odd. Seven through seventeen odd, just the seven through seventeen. So, um, if you want to start on something, you could start on that. Um, we've covered enough where you know you could definitely get an idea. So, go ahead from there. Have a great day. Be smart this weekend, you guys. Prom.